Dear students, now we are going to discuss the basics of oscillator. Let's start with the definition. It is an electronic circuit which can self-generate the waveform without any input. So without any input means consider this is the oscillator device. We are not going to give any input. We are going to simply give the DC supply voltage which is required for the operation of an active device used in this electronic circuit. So in this oscillator we are using transistor as an electronic device. For the transistor we can give DC supply voltage. This is not that input voltage. Okay. So without any input signal it can generate the output signal. It is basically an amplifier circuit with positive feedback with feedback components like RC, LC or crystal circuits. In this circuit, there is no input signal given to this amplifier. Okay. So here the amplifier consists of an active device. It can be either BJT, FET or OPM. Okay. So here. The active device requires DC supply voltage for its operation. So we are giving only the DC supply voltage to this amplifier, not the input. Okay, it can generate some small amount of noisy signal as the output that can be given as input to this feedback with a gain beta. It can produce the feedback signal VF. So for this oscillator, the input signal is nothing but the feedback signal. Do you all understand? There is no actual input. This feedback can also be taken from the output signal from this amplifier. Do you all understand this concept? That's what given here. Okay. So we are not giving any input signal. We are simply giving the DC supply voltage which is required for the operation of active devices used in this electronic circuit. Do you all understand this concept? So oscillator is basically an amplifier circuit with positive feedback. The gain of the positive feedback is AF is equal to A by 1 minus A beta. So the next one is condition for oscillation or percussion criterion. This is very very important. There are two conditions. So the first one is the magnitude of A beta is equal to 1. So here A beta is nothing but the loop gain of the system. Loop gain means the product of amplifier gain and the feedback gain. So here the magnitude of A beta is equal to unity. That is the first condition. The next one is the total phase shift around a closed loop is 0 degree or 360 degree. So in another term we can say integral multiple of 2 pi radians. So whichever circuits satisfy these two conditions can be used as oscillators. Do you all understand this? A beta is equal to 1. Total phase shift is 0 degree or 360 degree. It is also known as Barkasian criterion. Next one is specification of oscillator. So whenever we are going to select an oscillator, we have to consider some specific parameters those are given here, frequency stability, output frequency, allowable waveform distortion, range of frequency tuning circuit and output power. So we have to consider all the specifications for our applications. Okay. So the last one is applications of oscillator. It is widely used in watches, especially quartz crystal oscillators. Okay. It is used in watches, audio systems and video systems. It is used in communication devices like TV, radio, etc. It is also used in computers, radio circuits, smartphones, ultrasonic devices, metal detectors, etc. Microwave oscillator is widely used in microwave oven.